Liz, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super highly requested video. I'm going to be sharing with you how I store my makeup and you're also going to get a sneak peek at my makeup collection in the process. Well, basically what you see in my makeup collection are things that I love and I use on an everyday basis. I like to go through it at least once a month and see what I'm not using and then if I'm not using it, I put it in a little goodie bag and I send it off to my mom and sisters. Because I don't like my makeup to just sit there and go bad, I feel wasteful and I feel like people aren't getting to enjoy it. Now with that said, I do have a few makeup items that I just have not been able to part with because of the packaging. I have a slight addiction to really cute packaging. So there's some products that even though I don't use a lot, I still have them there because they're so pretty and I just can't part with them. Something's wrong with me, I can't let go of them. There's also going to be some products that I was sent for review by companies and I'll show you guys those, but I just know that I haven't tried them out for myself so I don't know how I feel about them yet. So other than that, I guess I'll just briefly tell you guys where the pieces of furniture are from. This glass table is from a local furniture store, but I'll see if I can find something similar online and maybe link it down below. The white mirror that I have behind me is from Home Goods, and also if you have questions on my wallpaper, I did do an entire blog post on it. I let you guys know the name of it, where I got it, all of that fun stuff. So I will link that blog post down below. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. Starting off right here, I have my makeup brushes. I have this small little acrylic cube. I got this from the container store. I like to keep my paint brushes in here because I think they're really pretty. These are from SL Miss Glam Beauty. And this one is a Kyoto brush that I got in Thailand. Back here, I keep the bulk of my brushes. I recently got rid of a ton of brushes and kept it down to the essentials. And this is just a candle dryer that I got from Hobby Lobby and I just put a little ribbon around it. Another Kyoto brush. This is also a Japanese brand. Up here I have this acrylic letter holder and let me take the palettes out so you can see what it looks like. So it basically has these slots where you would put like letters and things like that so you would find this in the office department at the container store and I think it just holds my palettes perfectly. All the palettes that you see here is everything that I have. I have, the, I have both of the chocolate Too Faced palettes and then I have the original Naked, which is one of my favorites. I have the Anastasia Contour Kit, which you guys have seen me talk about this. And I have the Nudes Palette, which my friend Michelle from Ready Set Glamour sent me. I've yet to use it. Back here I have my Laura Pro Palette, best limited edition palette ever. I really wish they would make this permanent because it's amazing. And then I have both Vice Palettes back here. To the right of that, I have this compact organizer, which I'm obsessed over. And this is actually from By Allegory Organizers. Here I just keep most of my highlighters. Like this is a Girl on highlighter. I have a slight obsession with highlight powders. I have my Charlotte Tilbury blush. I have some more highlights. These Becca highlight powders, if you guys don't have these, you need these in your life. They are kind of amazing. And then I have Soft and Gentle and Whisper of Guilt. I may have a few other highlighters um, sprinkled out throughout that piece from Marshalls, I believe. In this compartment right here, I have all of my lip liners. I basically just started getting into lip liners recently. I really love the NYX lip liners. I think they're amazing quality for the price. Back here, I have all of my eye, like, um, eye pens and eye pencils and also eyebrows. So back here I just keep like miscellaneous lip glosses. And then over here I have my NARS blushes, which I only have four, but I think NARS has amazing quality blushes. And over here I have my Guerlain Meteorites, which I absolutely love these to set my makeup when I'm not wearing a lot of it. Over here I have my Chanel blushes, my Chanel cream blushes, which I love these as well. Back here I just have my Jordana uh, cream blushes, which I actually, I was sent their entire new collection and I still need to go through them and see how I like them. That's pretty much everything in this drawer. Okay, so over here I have another office organizer. This one's basically supposed to hold letters and also pens up here. I have these palettes that are a little bit too bulky, so they weren't fitting in my other organizer, so they worked out perfect here. And then I have two more palettes here, my Lorac Pro Palette, amazing palette, and this is actually from their permanent collection. So if you guys are looking for a good everyday palette, highly recommend this one. And then I have my Naked 3 palette over here, which they fit nicely in there. Up here I keep my brand new Soulmates bronzer, which I can't bring myself to put away because it's so pretty. I just got that one. And then my Too Faced blush, which is also really pretty. And I just love these acrylic organizers because it allows you to be able to see all your makeup. You can easily find everything, so I really like that. 
So down here I have another one of those drawers and these drawers are actually stackable so if I wanted to I could actually stack this drawer on top of the drawer next to it which is over here. I don't think you guys can see it. I believe that you can still find these at Marshalls and Home Goods and things like that. Okay so over here I have another by Allegory organizer and this is actually their I want to say it's their eyeshadow organizer, but I find that it fits my blushes really nicely, all of my MAC blushes. And then over here I have my Kevin Aquan blush and highlight powder. You guys have heard me talk about this highlight powder so much, the candlelight. Love this stuff. If you need a natural looking highlight, highly recommend this one. Then back here I just have my Makeup Forever HD blushes, which I'm obsessed with. And then I have just a little Eyes to Kill eyeshadow. So it fits those really nicely in here. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what's inside the door now. Well, over here, I just have my Majorette. I think it's called Majorette Benefit Blush. It's nice, but I just don't find myself reaching for it a lot, but I just got it, so I'm giving it a chance. Up here, I have all of my high-end lip glosses. I have my YSL and several Chanel lip glosses. I love these YSL lip glosses. If you guys want to splurge a little bit, if you have like a birthday coming up, Check these out, they smell amazing and they're so pretty. And then I have my La Mer Lip Balm, which I love. I here I just have more miscellaneous lip glosses. These are basically all of my lip glosses. And I have the Sephora Matte Lip Blusters. I love them whenever I first apply my makeup, but then when I go out, my hair always gets caught in it and I get my hair dragged all over my face and I get lip product all over my face. So back here I have all of my melted lipsticks and I actually got this in a four pack during the holiday time. Uh, it was like four of these for 25 bucks. My friend Stephanie from SL Miss Glam sent me this in a little care package a while ago. It's so cute. It's like a little blush. And I have to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. It has a little poof ball. It's so adorable. And then over here I have my Ben Nay powder, which it's okay. I like it. I mean, I still I use it sometimes. And then my Tarte waterproof powder, which my sister gave to me. Really, really heavy duty stuff if you need some. Waterproof makeup, definitely recommend this stuff. Over here I just have my Giorgio Armani loose powder and a shimmer powder from MAC. I don't even know how old this thing is. This is one of the new Physicians Formula blushes. Look how amazing that blush is. It's like a spray over glitter, but once you get past that, the color is really pretty. So that is everything in there. So this section is my absolute favorite section of makeup everywhere because it has all of my gold package makeup. So I'm going to start off by showing you where I keep my Gerard Cosmetic Lip Glosses. This is a By Allegory organizer. It holds these lip glosses so perfectly. This organizer is from HomeGoods and it is intended for makeup. So over here I just have my two travel size Girl On Meteorites. I got these at the airport in Japan, I want to say. And they're pretty awesome for travel because I don't like taking my entire uh, bulky meteorites with me. And then up here I just have some of my Gerard lipsticks, which these aren't all of them. I have more in my lipstick tower. And then I have some Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks back here. And then I have some MAC lipsticks back here, if you guys can see that. But I basically keep all of the lipsticks that I grab a lot in this little kit. And then over here I have all of the new foiled eyeshadows from Milani. They're actually not really eyeshadows, they're more like a shine that you apply over your shadow, which is pretty interesting. I don't own anything like this, so I'm just kind of filling them out and I'll keep you guys updated. This cube right here is a Muji drawer. This is one of the very first organizers that I ever got. And they're pretty affordable. I've had them going on three years now and it's still in pretty good condition. So this is definitely a good choice if you're looking for makeup organization. First drawer, I just have all of my Hourglass. This is my Hourglass blush palette, my Hourglass ambient lighting palette, and then two separate ambient light lighting powders. I have an entire video showing you guys how to use these powders. If you have no clue how to use them or what to do with them, I'll leave that link down below. In this drawer, I keep all of my new Milani Rose blushes. Over here, I have my ColourPop eyeshadows which I am obsessed with these eyeshadows they're so gorgeous I have one Chanel eyeshadow and this one <laughs> I love this one it's called Phantasme and I love this one because it's basically pure glitter it's the only one that I own and then I have the NYX gel liner which I'm still not sure how I feel about because I'm I usually use liquid liners this drawer I have some of my limited edition MAC stuff and I don't reach for these three that much. These are basically the ones that I have decided to just keep because of the packaging. I know, terrible. And then I have my Bobbi Brown highlight powder, which is amazing. It, I think it was limited edition. It's called Sandstone. Best highlight I've tried from Bobbi Brown. And then my Charlotte Tilbury 
eyeshadow palette and my Sonia Kesha quad. Over here I keep all of my Milani eyeshadows. These are their new gel eyeshadows. They are super amazing and I actually have them in both of these stores. I also have a few blushes from them. They did send me every single one of them and I have a few that are my favorite. So let me know if you guys wanna see a video of me swatching just my favorite ones. Over here I keep the majority of my lipsticks. This is the lipstick spinner from Zara Beauty and I am <laughs> so in love with it. It holds like 81 lipstick. I basically condensed about four of those individual lipstick organizers into one of these babies and it's so cool. Over here I have my NARS lipsticks and my Tom Ford lipsticks. Then over here I have all of my Milani lipsticks, which I did a video swatching all of them. Over here I have most of my MAC lipsticks. I do have a few limited edition ones and a few from their permanent line. These are all of the new Maybelline matte lipsticks. I also did a video swatching this entire collection. Up here I have all of my YSL Rouge Villette lipsticks. These have been my favorite lipsticks forever. I also did a video swatching all of these. This cube is actually from Original Beauty Box and I bought that about a year ago. It's really, really pricey, but it was totally worth it for me because it, it holds a ton of makeup and it was basically either getting this lipstick tower and this makeup cube or getting an entire new drawer system, so I went this route. So I'm gonna show you guys what I keep in here. The very first drawer, I keep some of my higher end blushes. I have two Tom Ford blushes. This one is actually a, a blush and highlight. And then I have this limited edition YSL blush, which I don't, I never use this blush, but this is one of the pieces that I've been hoarding because it's just so pretty. I love the pink heart. I have a highlight by Chanel, and then I have a Chanel powder blush over here, which I'm actually not a huge fan of the Chanel powder blushes. That's why I only have one of them. I have my Mary Luminizer highlight powder. This stuff is also really, really amazing. It's so pretty. So in the second drawer, I keep all of my foundation. I have my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I know it looks like I have a ton of them, but there are two, there's three different shades, which I tend to mix together as the weather changes. These are not foundations. These are more like illuminating liquid. And I have my Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation, which I love, my Makeup Forever HD, my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which I just did a demo on. It's really, really nice. And then I just have like my highlighters. You guys know I'm obsessed with this NARS concealer. It's really amazing. The second drawer, I basically keep all of my mascaras on this side, which I realized after organizing for this video that I have a mascara problem, obviously. And this isn't even all of my mascara, guys. I'm kind of embarrassed to admit that. But I have an entire other stash of mascara that isn't even opened yet, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. On this side, I just have all of my eye primers, face primers. So down here, I have kind of miscellaneous products. Over here, I have all of my Jordana lipsticks, which I was sent the entire new matte collection. And then over here, I have my Chanel bronzer, which I love. This is the Tanda Soleil. I also have the brand new bronzer from Physicians Formula. I have my Bobbi Brown bronzer, which is amazing. If you guys need a really good bronzer, check out the Bobbi Brown one. Two Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I haven't gotten to. They're all of the NYX lipsticks that I own back here. So in this bottom drawer, I keep pretty miscellaneous items, makeup products that I was sent for review and I just haven't gotten to, as well as all of my finishing sprays. So I have like my Max Fix Plus, my Evian spray bottle, which I'm obsessed with those. And then I have makeup remover. I have all these Jordana um, concealers that I was also sent for review. Down here I have some more NYX products that I haven't had a chance to review yet. And also this highlight powder from Urban Decay, which I actually love this stuff, but it's so bulky that I can't figure out anywhere else to store it. And then I do keep it on this mirrored stand that I got from HomeGoods because I mean, look at that. It just fits so perfectly. So this is where I keep all of my backup mascaras and stuff that I was telling you guys about. These are all brand new and I usually get these during my Sephora 100 point perk. Then I have more products that I need to review back here. I also have some products from Ico that I also need to review. So I basically just try to keep everything that I haven't gotten to in one place so I know to go through it. And I keep all of my false lashes in this cute little box that I received from House of Lashes. Uh, so I have these lashes from Eyler, then I have a few of House of Lashes, which I have a love-hate relationship with these because the band is so thick and my eyes are so small that I feel like it just makes my eyes look droopy sometimes. We have my lashes from SL Miss Glam Beauty. So that was my entire makeup collection. I hope you guys liked the video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. I put out new videos every single week. 
Don't forget to check out the info box for links to anything that I mentioned in this video, including videos that I mentioned in this video. And I will talk to you guys on my next one. Bye.